When people talk about Liam Ridgewell's strengths as a player, his passing ability is usually brought up. What does that mean for a center back, a guy whose primary responsibility is to defend? Liam stuck around to have that discussion with Ross Smith. It's this month's Axes and O's presented by Oryx Solar. There's nothing more I love than an old school center back, but I think there's still a spot for a modern day center back in the game. So I've got Liam Ridgewell here to talk me through his passing ability and how he can carry a threat when he's on the ball. And Liam, if we go back to the Toronto FC match, just gonna look at three different passes in your repertoire. Mm -hmm. And the first one, when we look at it, it's along the deck. And what stands out to me are the lines that you're breaking. Just here when you're on the ball, what are you scanning? What are you looking for? Normally, when Rodney Wallace used to play, I used to knock a ball diagonal into this, this left wing. Right. Obviously, nowadays, we don't play with any wingers, so it makes it a little bit more difficult, but I'm literally scanning where the centre forwards are going, where the two defensive midfielders are going, okay. and I've probably more worked out in the game build-up what, what they're doing and what Seba's looking to do. So I'm just looking to try and get the ball into Seba as far forward as I can, into his feet, for him to be able to turn uh, and start an attack. So you're looking particularly for a certain yeah. player, Seba, in this situation, yeah. Blanco? Yeah, uh, I know that Seba obviously normally stays out on the left. No, uh, he likes to come in. So I'm looking for, for any time he can come inside and I can get him the ball to the feet. You know, with no wingers, I can't play that diagonal, but whenever he's inside, I, I try and get him the ball. So that's one pass along the deck. I want to mm. go now to the other ends, not just mm. lumping the ball. You talk yeah. to Jake and I. This is with a purpose. Yeah. Again to Seba, we see you on the ball. And you've dropped one in behind from. What yeah. are you looking at there? I try and scan the game if we're sort of on the back foot or, or Toronto is, you know, stepping up higher. I spoke to the centre forwards at half time and asked them, you know, do you feel like the, the centre halves are, are, are closing you down and, and playing right behind you? And they, they said to me, yeah. So we spoke about it in the, in the second half of the mm -hmm. first five, ten minutes. So I knocked one in behind and it allowed Seba to be able to make that move without even thinking about it. And I can just stick it really in, into an area. Mm -hmm. If I can just stick it in the channel, I know it's going to hold up on the Astro turf and, and try and find him. And you look at the chance that it's created now, you get numbers yeah. up the pitch. If it wasn't for a Bradley block, mm. it could be going towards goal. Yeah. Now, last one, just looking at here in between. You get on the ball and you've clipped one in here right yeah. onto Seba. Again, you're looking for that player, obviously, in this match. Yeah. What have you liked about it? These are one of my favorite, these are probably <laughs> my favorite ones. I try and do these in training it with a with a defensive midfielder trying to jump and trying to get it. It's like a centre forward when they, tr they make me and they try and give me a little bit of a, you know, unlucky there or something. That, I'm doing the same there. You know, if it <laughs> drops in, he's just tried to get it. You know, it's like get me a coat with that with that burger as well. So uh, I enjoy them ones. It's it's a little chuckle to myself. And like you say, any time Seba comes inside and tries to work off Sam, you know, it's perfect for me. It's such a big hole. Certainly with Michael Bradley playing as a centre half, it, it gave me the chance to find a hole in front of uh, in front of him and and, and get. Blanco on the ball. You were just telling me as well that you gave the Toronto midfielder a little wave <laughs> yeah. of the finger. Don't go it for did, those. Don't go for those one. That's right. You just don't pick that up on the cameras nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> well, one more actually, a, a yeah. little sneaky one here I put in. Mm -hmm. Still got a bit of old school in you. Toronto yeah. FC <laughs> ball goes into the back. Where is this yeah. ball going? Channel ball. <laughs> I tell you what, you get a game squeeze. of the lower leagues That's of right. England. Yeah, no, I could have played with you on that one, mate. I could have played with you. I was like, no chance. We're just squeezing up, sticking it in the corner as far as I can get down. As long as I don't put it out for a goal kick. We're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> the modern day footballer carrying a threat from the back, distributing out. But will we see the Ridgey roll at some point soon, hopefully? <laughs>